a great reset city will be built in our American West. This is crazy, crazy stuff that's going on. World Economic Forum agenda is definitely here in America. Um, the great, great Thomas Saul said, It doesn't matter what rights you have under the Constitution of the U.S. If the government can uh, punish you for exercising those rights. And it doesn't matter what limits the Constitution puts on the government officials' power uh, if they can exceed those limits without any adverse consequences. Well, well said, Thomas Tal um, Thomas Sowell. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this important information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t-shirts. Uh, um, let them know that you will not comply to the idiotic um, um, uh, anti-constitutional uh, uh, laws. Um, but bef um, let's, let's um, talk about this news. Uh, communism, this is communism with a pretty face, basically. Uh, Tolosa City is with the, um, a diversity, equity, and inclusion city, DEI. We talked about uh, DEI before. Um, in our American West, likely Utah, is a utopian vision of an American billionaire uh, named Mark Lore. Modeled after the World Economic Forum Sustainable and Smart Growth City, the residents won't have to drive more than 15 minutes for anything. You will ride bikes, walk or ride in slow-moving autonomous cars. Something like a wheelchair in a car form. I mean, it moves along really slow. Where does freedom fit into all this? So, the so-called farms will be in buildings, even in the American West. The billionaires will decide everything. Uh, will they also decide when it's time for you to die? That's the question. Uh, there was a Star Trek episode like this um, on a planet. They had a, a pre-planned death date and had to go into the uh, uh, disintegration machine when that date came up. Uh, Star Trek, the original series, even had an episode of a planet where a machine controlled um, everything and the youth lay around living wasted lives. There were no elderly people. Um, it was a similar thing like that too on Stargate SG-1, one of my favorite shows. Um, in, Tel in, in Toulouse, all prosperity will be shared by everyone. And, and communism again. Um, there is no mention of merit, of course, so you don't have to do nothing. <laughs> all government meetings will be held in public, but they aren't saying uh, that the residents will make decisions. More than likely, they won't make any decisions. It uh, does seem um, a population would have to be controlled for this city to survive. I mean, think about it. Um, in the write-up to the lore, uh, to the lore, to lure you into um, into this dreamland, they say, "quote Imagine living in a city with an economic system in which citizens have a stake in the land. As the city does better, the residents do better. We call it." <laughs> we call this equitism. <laughs> Can't, you know, I mean, this is nonsense. I'm laughing because this is not real. There's no such thing as a utopia. It would never happen. Um, we all know that absolute power corrupts absolutely. So it's no way possible. It's not in our nature to have a utopia because we live in a fallen, sinful world. So a utopia would never, ever happen. This is all nonsense. Anyone that promised you this is lying to you. But they go on to say, um, quote, I imagine equitism serving uh, as a blueprint for other cities and even the world and the Toulouse or Toulouse being a place of pride for all who live there, Mark Lore says in the Toulouse City website. Um, he's the snake in the garden. I mean, people, but people fall for this stuff all the time. The same people that fall for the jab jabs uh, is the same people that believe um, a, a billionaire has a good heart and he's building this utopia for you so you can sit on your butt and not do anything. People will fall for it. 
Um, what they explain is that the billionaire keeps ownership of the land. Um, um, and while you can build and sell on it, it's always, um, he always have the final say. So think of it as like a HOA, but on steroids. Everything is for the collective, but the elites make the decisions. It stakes uh, stakeholder capitalism as the World Economic Forum defines it. So let's talk about uh, stake, stakeholder capitalism. The stakeholder capitalism is anything but. And in Michael um, Rechtenwald's article, Mastering the Future, the, uh, the megalomaniacal uh, ambitions of the WEF, I'm sorry, megalomaniacal uh, ambitions of the WEF, he writes, quote, Least we imagine the World Economic Forum and its meetings merely represent the grandiose delusions of some ineffectual clowns. <laughs> it should be noted that the WEF stakeholder capitalism introduced in 1971 by Klaus Schwab, the WEF founder and chair, is a modern enterprise management in mechanism, mechani I'm sorry, in me mechanical engineering. Sorry, I'm struggling today. Um has been embraced by the UN by most central banks as well as the uh, the world leaders the world leading corporations commercial banks and asset managers stakeholder capitalism is now considered to be the modus operandi of the world economic system stakeholder capitalism and ESG investing which I talk about in talk in, in a number of videos is an idea out of the 50s and 60s which claims to deal with crisis and inequality while causing more of both this that I, I talk about this all the time all this stuff but the neo the neo uh, the neo uh, liberal world order and and um, all of these things they're pushing the equity and and um and all this other stuff they're talking about the programs to help um, they actually do the exact opposite of what they claim they want they're wanting it to do well, everyone is a stakeholder and gets to speak their piece, but the power remains in the hands of the elites, and they're not going to let that power go. They don't have to listen to you. Again, this is what it's all about. It's about control. This is how they control you. Um, they get you in their in their uh, uh, so-called utopia, have you working for them on the utopia and doing all this other stuff, but you really have no say and no rights in that so-called utopia. The one thing stakeholder capitalism isn't it's capitalism i mean this is not capitalism you know who tried this don't you i mean we all know who tried this but um maoists maoist china mao did this maoist china built whole cities with this same type of central planning only now they're called ghost cities since no one lives lives in them china's demolishing and um demolishing in them um Communist central planning doesn't work. The peasants don't want it. Uh, in July uh, 2012, Elizabeth Warren, a devout leftist, ran an ad telling Americans to build ghost cities like the Chinese. The ad was taken down from YouTube, but we don't. Uh, but we do have a quote from her narration. Quote: We've got bridges and roads in need of repair, and thousands of people in need of work. Why aren't we rebuilding America? Our competitors are putting people to work, building the future. China invests 9% of its GDP in infrastructure. America, we're just 2.4%. We can do better. I didn't work in China. Central planning doesn't work. There is no accountability, and the elites gain too much power. It's unfolding in the U.S., and, and um, I, I kind of hope they, they, they do build this so-called utopia so people can finally see how terrible this stuff, this stuff really is. Again, it's just history repeating itself. Mao tried this before. It, it doesn't work, but they continue to push this agenda. But um, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace. Oh.